Will um, was certainly a boss, and he was very tight about money, and he joked about that. But he didn't act like a boss. He acted like a colleague. He acted like an elder brother. And he was devoted to comics. He saw that I was devoted to comics. And, and we talked comics endlessly. We talked about it, what different artists did. We went back and forth. We had real conversations. Um, and I learned a lot in these conversations. And I think I gave him a lot of pleasure because none of the guys who worked for him could take part in these conversations. Also, none of the guys who worked for him thought Eisner was anything but part of the past. They thought he was on his way out. They didn't like his style, which I venerated. Um, they thought he was old hat. I thought he was great. Uh, uh, so th they were working to, uh, to pay the rent. And uh, I was working for nothing, but, had it, but it was a dream come true. Uh, I learned a lot from him. It's, um, I learned about storytelling. I mean, it was, uh, I learned how to tell stories by studying the structure of the spirit stories that he himself was writing and emulate them. And when I found that his stories began to suffer because he was involved in so many other enterprises that he basically was not writing well anymore. He used to write very well. Uh, I complained to him and he said, if you think you can do better, write me one. And I did about the Bronx and, 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 um, and he thought it was better. And I was the writer from that point on. And suddenly, um, being hopeless at everything else in the office and making lots of mistakes and screwing up technically um, and not understanding how so much of the, of the process of what they were doing or getting it wrong and being clumsy and not being able to handle a brush the way you're supposed to, doing any of that stuff. I could write. I didn't know I could write. And, and, and I had no trouble writing those spirit stories. And so I, and I just kind of aped what I had learned from Eisner in his old stories, but also what I got out of radio drama and movies, noir movies that were in vogue then, the Maltese Falcon, Double Indemnity, those things. And I just put in all of the stuff that I had picked up, you know, scooped up, blotted up from, from movies and radio and uh, early television and... Um, and put it all in the spirit and uh, learned how to write this stuff that way. And also stealing from old Eisner and Kniff. Um, I stole from whoever it was that would teach me something. 